How we doing, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my late night stream. Okay, we're doing Death Watch. Some more Death Watch today. Uh, this is the page we got done last night. If uh, you're following me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, I posted the uh, Procreate uh, the Procreate process video. Didn't tag it very well. My daughter's like, uh, this is what you need to do so people actually see your posts. Let me turn down pretzel here a little bit, man. Pretzel's really, really loud. Oh, no. There we go. There we go. That's better. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me better with this new mic. If not, I just have this giant thing in front of my face, which I actually don't enjoy, but hopefully the audio's coming in. Let me know. Alrighty, let's get drawn on this. Uh, so, um, we basically have uh, just a little recap of where we are in the story. Uh, Count Darius is uh, is tormenting the villagers of medieval Nuremberg, and uh, our hero is about to make his first appearance. So let's come in here. Let's make a new page. Boinky boink. And uh, let's get that ready. I'm going to come in here. For those of you who aren't familiar with Procreate, I'm just going to plop in my drawing guide, which my default's a grid. Now you can edit your drawing guide by going into these preferences, and you can select grid, isometric, perspective, or symmetry, and they all have different options. But I just do this grid. It helps me sort of break things up. I like the little standard default. So I'm just hit done. And then come in here and go ahead and hit drawing assist. We're just going to get, make sure that we're not drawing with white. That make the comic very hard to read. We're just going to come in here and we're going to get sort of our live area blocked in. That's a little bit much. what this does is this, this gives uh, my editor a little bit of room to move the page around so according to where the book is or where the page is in the book they might need more or less margin space for the staples to go in so you always got to remember whether your book's going to be printed or a web book now with all the here let's go in here real quick you'll notice that with all the death watch um, pages that uh, I don't have too many uh, wide shots, and that's because one day when things go digital, everything's basically ready for the vertical scroll. So I'm trying to purposely avoid wide shots. It's a it's a decision. And um, anyway, if you're wondering why I don't have any, that's why. But I've also found out that I sort of like it because it saves you time when drawing backgrounds because you're just drawing that narrow strip. So, um, so yeah, so if you're thinking about converting to the vertical scroll, there's one reason to. Now, I, when I'm sketching initially, I like to get a, uh, I basically use the same brush no matter what. And I like to turn the size up and the opacity down just when I'm doing my layouts. Okay, so I got my live area. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide my drawing guide now that I had that blocked in. Now this, I'm going to keep assisted, I'm going to create a new layer, and this is going to be my roughs. If you want to, you can go ahead and label these. It's a good habit to get into, uh, especially if you're working on a team, but we're just going to, we're going to jump right in. Now, uh, there's a four month jump in the story uh, from where we last left off on page 13, and this is... This panel should be Reiner actually coming into the town. Now, um, usually when I do layouts, I try and do everything just from the old noodle out of my head. And then I'll grab, if things look wonky, I'll grab a little reference. But most of the time I can sort of imagine these things and get pretty close so he's coming into town on a on a stagecoach so 
So I got the stagecoach blocked now. I'm going to block in the team of horses. I'm not quite sure how many horses pulled a stage, like how many teams. We've got to watch out for tangents here. Mark May, what's up, buddy? How you doing? And Allison's here too. Allison, uh, if you're here, do you want to jump on Discord and let me know if you do? That way I'm not just talking to myself. Do just a little bit of framing. So we have a little bit of a forest behind to get everything framed in. Always a good idea to go back to your script, check and see what dialogue's going to be there. Page seven, panel one. Coach comes into town. Everything's quiet. Caption. Okay. So we do have a caption box, and then we go straight to panel two. How many panels do we have in the page? Five. I might do a six panel page. Or, so there's there's one option. This is one of the things I love about working digitally. I'm just going to turn off the visibility of that. Then we're, let's approach the scene from a different POV point of view. I have like the back of the carriage. Eyeballing all this perspective, got like a horizon line right there. So vanishing point would be somewhere right here. I think they had like trunks on the back. Teams of horses up front. One of the things I love about Procreate is just that snap for these ellipses. You can get precise. Just going to make that one on the, the opposite side just a little bit wider. Whoopsie. Let's get it a little bit wider. There we go. We can have the city in the background. And we 
gonna take that. Zoomy zoom down. Get plenty of room for that caption box. And this gives me a little bit more room. So this tells, you know, just switching that camera angle up, it tells more of the story. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to get reference for that, that carriage. But it's coming in. So one of the things I like to do, I'm, I've turned into a pretty big lettering snob. I really plan for where my lettering is going to go and I actually send I shouldn't have blocked that in on the same layer but I'll actually send basically my lettering plans to my uh, to Zen who's my letterist for Death Watch and so he can basically see that I've planned exactly where things are going to go and in that way it just makes everybody's life easier. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Let's go back to this and we'll create a segment there. So now if I come in and I do this for panel one, immediately it limits my options for the rest of the page. And I know there's going to be five panels. Um, and you, want, you always want your, your most important panel to, to be the biggest. So one of the tricks you can do, this next panel is going to be the first reveal of our character. One of the things you can do to make your panels bigger is, is actually have a panel go full bleed. So I'm just going to knock out this. And then that way, this next panel, when Reiner steps out, it would be a nice big panel. Now I can even make it bigger. Um... Come in here, we'll do transform. Oopsie! Reset, sorry. I want to do free form. Squish that down. Okay. And then just gonna rectangle this. Bring it back up top. Okay, and then that that gives me this next panel, you know, lots of you know, lots of room to play. Now that's an option. Um, let's check out the dialogue. So I'm actually going to go back to that layout that I had. Oh, no worries, Allison. Just if you wanted to. Because I want a little bit more room with these, these other panels down here. So uh, one, two, let's go ahead. Let's, let's throw our grid back up. Okay, and we have three panels down there, and that pretty much solves, you know, has a nice layout, nice flow. So let's plan for where these captions are going to go. I usually do my own separate layer for lettering. Come on. Drawing assist. And what I do is I come over here. I just make, now if you're doing this on normal paper, you do it with like an Ames lettering guide. 
If I just do these lines, and then I'll turn the opacity down. And then we'll come in here and then we'll add a layer on top. Now, whoop, cancel, sorry. Go ahead and lock this. And that just stays your lettering guide and then whatever layer you create on top, that'll be your dialogue. So let's go back to our dialogue here. Let's see what Jared wrote. And then let's go ahead and let's plan. Now this is a caption box, so we're gonna go ahead and be square. Now I do have lettering brushes. So we'll just grab those out. Pass the high and these are pretty pretty thick, so let's go ahead and see. I heard about this. It's a little thick. Smaller. A little thin. And I forgot the hat. Now this is where it gets tough when you're you're handwriting it and, and all of a sudden you you know you know your next word is going to go all the way out but remember this is just this is for you to gauge where the the captions and what not are going to go So you just sort of plan for your caption box. Have you watched the ca Yes, I have, Allison, and I love it. I love it. It's so good. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to... and. I try to stay away from my my uh, my gutters. I don't want to create any tangents, but I also try not to cover up any essential art. So I think this dead tree is probably going to be the best place to to place that, and that just tells me you know not to spend a lot of time there, because whatever's going underneath that's just going to get covered up. Okay. It is so good. I, I, my only gripe about it is it's so terrifying. I couldn't watch it with the kids because, like, there's no way I could have that playing in my house with Joy watching. So. All right. And let's do panel two. Let's see if there's any dialogue in panel two. Go ahead and pop in a new layer. Let's see. Okay, so our next dialogue is really small.
Hmm. There we go. For whatever reason, it's not responding to my Apple Pencil, but it's responding to my finger. There we go. Now you want to sort of create. Ah, whoopsie. You want to create sort of an interesting panel flow. You know, so you got your your panel layouts. And you want to make sure everything works that way. That you don't have any confusing layouts. And then you want to plan for where your dialogue is going to go. And then you basically draw around it. That's that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, totally. No, you'd be giving your kid nightmares forever and then once I have that done I just merge it down and then we'll go ahead and we'll call this text rename text there we go return okay so let's do this let's scroll up so we can keep this on here Sure, it's going a little, a little uh, Robert Kirkman here. We got a lot of dialogue, but that's okay. Every now and then you need it. But this is why you plan. So, uh, also a caption. So, we're going to match the style of this. Now, I can, I can, if I wanted to, I can keep it all in one clump or I can break it up and sort of move it around the panel. But I think with this one, it's probably going to be best if I keep it all together. So I'm just going to, and you can always break it up later too, so. I do a little bit of editing on Jared's stuff. Okay. Now I did that on the text layer, so I'll have to select this and move it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it down here, size it down just a little. Now I try and keep everything about you know let's undo that. Just let's undo that real quick. Try and keep everything at whoa, about the same size. So with this one, rather, you know, because it's creating a tangent with my layout, I'll probably come in and just, you know, widen this just a little bit. Or I can move, let's see, let's pull. Yeah, we're going to need to widen that just a little bit. All right. And then the last panel, let's see. And 
What was my favorite episode? Um, there's only one with a happy ending. So. <laughs> um, the rat one was pretty over the top. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, uh, the one with uh, uh, the spiritualism one with uh, Ron Weasley. That was a pretty fun one, too. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, uh, if you haven't already RSVP'd, we're having Friendsgiving tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. Uh, at my house. So if you're one of my former students, text me. I'll uh, send you the details. And uh, But yeah, come on over and uh, join our providing uh, sandwiches. Everyone, Everyone's going to bring like a potluck type of thing, enough to share with everyone. And we're just going to have a Friendsgiving. We're going to draw and eat yummy food till about uh, 10, 11 or whenever we decide that it's uh, time to go to bed. So uh, if you're one of my former students, feel free to just let me know that you're coming by and I'll, and I'll see you tomorrow. Also, you know, uh, if you know Johnny, it's uh, his birthday Sunday. So it's going to be sort of like a Friendsgiving slash birthday party with Johnny. I bought him a cake. Okay. I bought him a cake. Okay, it looks like there's there's two panels on this page. Okay, so that's good to know. Or two captions. See, this is what you don't want to have happen right here. That's like a letter's nightmare. But I'll let the letter figure that out. Like I said, I'm just, just sort of planning. I'll let Zinn... And if you're watching this, I apologize beforehand. Whoa! So now that I know that these captions are in the same panel. Wow. That got it. And sort of creep up one to one side. Creep up the other to the other one. And we'll come here. Okay. And 
let's see. Okay, and the last is just good evening. So that's. That should be easy in that text. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, Allison, when you show up, just you know, come knock on the door, and I'll help you carry it in. I also have a, I have a cooler with ice already in it. So, okay, and so that's gonna create like a nice little compass compositional flow got that all done and planned out so once I have that down I'm gonna come over here to this I'm just gonna make a little adjustments clear those out let's go back to our sketching See how much that really affects you know, the bottom three panels. So this gives me sort of like a little narrow, more narrow of a window to work with. Now that I still have options. I can come in here and I can basically select these again. And just move them over. And that way, one of the things you want to avoid is just sort of this this feeling at the at the end of the page that you're running out of space. So let's do the tight panel over here and let's give us a little bit more room over there. And then we'll go back to our text. And we're just gonna shift that over as well. Okay, once your text looks good and your layout looks good, now we can go back and plan the rest of our page. And we can turn off our grid too. And that makes things a lot easier to see. Now, I, now that I'm done with my script for the page and I basically know what's going on. Well, I'll have it back here because you know I have the, I have the, uh, the dialogue going, but um, that way you can see a little bit better. I need to zoom in on this. I didn't realize how. How small this is. Now this panel, the second panel is going to be the first appearance of our hero. So I want like a full heroic uh, shot. Now let me read this though. Is she sort of in his battle gear? Let's see. Got his hat on. Do a little bit of clean up here. Get rid of some of these marks that just sort of get where we don't want them. So I'm going to do what's called a Dutch tilt. 
and that way what happens is we have this and we have we you know we have the the the, the vanishing line and the perspective line pushes us into this scene and then this scene we look at it and it's going to shoot us right back down into this corner so we're going to start with the coach in the background first in a new layer and let's work on sort of doing the Loomis skeleton here. Now I should twist the body just a little bit because he, if he's stepping out of that coach facing us. Let's pop that background layer open. We'll just make a few adjustments. Put that right there. This is one of the things I absolutely love about working digitally is how easy it is to modify and change things to fit exactly what you want it to do. I'm just going to change that step right there. And I'll clean it up later. This just really needs to make sense to me right now. adding in a few details
but I'm happy with that. So let's move on to the next panel, panel three. Let's go back to our script real quick. Okay, so the driver of the coach. Okay, this is a really good opportunity to sort of change up our composition. So we're gonna do this one, we have a worm's eye view. Now we're gonna to go to a bird's eye view. Egg-foo's on. How we doing, Egg-foo? Now we got to be aware of tangents, so I'm just going to move that up a little bit more up here. Some more Luma skeletons real quick. Tipping his hat. Need to swap that up still. So what, let's see what I can do here. Composition is a major consideration. Let's do that. Bring the driver up. Actually, let me do this. Cut. Paste. Let's bring that driver up. And over just a little bit more. And then we'll come back. Now, if I wanted to, I could go full bleed on this one, too. Uh, it would still work. So if that gets a little too confining, I can do it. But like I said, I sort of like these narrow panels because uh, you don't have to draw as much. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Uh, no, you know what? Our country's getting weirder and weirder, unfortunately. But um, is that uh, is it that one that took egg food? Was that one that took place here in Utah? The one that's it, it's like one of the most popular crime podcasts in the world, and it's just following that one crazy guy that killed his killed his wife for sleeping with his dad and stuff like that. It's like nuts. Okay, so we got that there. And then we're gonna have like a major pulled out scene here. Which is good, this one is just basically empty. Okay, and then we have him coming into the same, same bar, it's gonna be interesting with the owner did so here we can actually have like a really nice close-up sort of that shadow vibe
think there's like a scene from Nosferatu. It has like a similar composition. I might have to take a look at that. So this one I'm going to want to really work on that shape. I want that strong silhouette. And the door of the tavern that we saw a few pages ago. But there we go. And that that's basically how I do layouts. Now uh, let's see. Yeah, Tooth, I hope you're feeling better. Tooth, let me know if you think it, this this stupid thing's working and, and you can hear me better. Tooth, uh, for those of you who don't know, Tooth does uh, Steven Sajak's, uh, helps him with his live streams. So, uh, anywho, so there's our layout. I mean, super rough, but it gives me enough where... I've basically planned for everything. I, I you know, I, I know where things are going to go. I know I'm not going to have problems with, you know, art getting, you know, uh, uh, essential art getting covered up. Um, I can still crop and resize and do all these things. So, you know, usually after I get this to this point, I come in, I turn the text layers off, and then I just sort of do a second round. Um, so if these are roughs. Um, in, in comics, you got to be careful with your terminology because usually roughs refer to pencils, okay? This is not even pencils. You know, some, some people might just call this, you know, layouts still. Um, for me, they're, they're super roughs, and now I'm just going to come in and I'm going to tighten them up a little bit. For the purpose of, uh, you know, getting the most bang for the buck, let's see. For the purposes of bang for the buck, let's go ahead and let's do this one. I, you know, this is actually the first time I've been drawing Reiner. Um, so I might not even use this at all. I might, I might look at it tomorrow and be like, I hate this and delete it and start over. I do that all the time. I don't know if you guys can pick up on those little process videos that I post on Instagram, but if I don't like something, I just... I just draw over it. So let's go ahead and let's do this one because it's going to be really interesting. I'm going to go ahead and pull some Peter Cushing reference. Let's get a new Google window going here. Let's see if we can get a nice little... Now we're just going to do an homage. I mean, obviously... Grand Moff Tarkin. Let's see. Let's do images. Come here to tools. Size. Let's do large. Let's see if we can't get a nice little angle that matches the one we have laid out. This is one sort of fun right here. A younger one wouldn't be bad either. That's sort of dope. That one's way too recognizable. Ooh, that one's fun too. So is that one. There he is from Sherlock Holmes. That one's... Yeah, which one, which one? Let's go back up to this top one here. This one right there. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. Let me see if I can fit this on the screen so you guys can see that. Oh, Boo's going nuts. I hope you guys can't hear Boo freaking out in the background. Is it? Okay, good. Because I, I paid a lot of money for this stupid mic and it's right in my face. So, if it's not working, then... 
All right, so I just have my picture of Peter up there just for just little giggles. Let's do... Take this, I'm going to turn the opacity way down. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do another thing. I'm just going to drop this out. Because I just sort of, when I when I draw, I like to be as free as I possibly can. And that means sort of cleaning this up as much as I can. So I'm going to turn that way, way down just so I know where it goes. Pop in a new layer, and then let's just do a few few studies real quick and see if we can't get a head that we like. It was all me, Allison. It was all me. I did it myself. I, this was... This was my, why is that loose? So I had this on my old computer. And uh, I basically chucked that. And it's just been sitting in a box outside my studio the whole time. And now I'm actually using it. All right, so let's draw this head. Trying to do the brim. Now, if I was uh, Kim Jung Ji, I could have done that without uh, without having to do any of the uh, construction lines, but I'm not. Rest in peace, Maestro. That was so devastating going to New York and having that news.
just sort of blocking in light and shadow. guys the first close-up of Reiner for Death Watch one of her major protagonists or uh, yeah no protagonist I'm actually pretty happy with how that looks. I think the nose is a little too long. Should probably end right. Oopsie! I don't even know what I did there. Should end right about there. Son of a. Just a little bit. Now I'm drawing all this detail, but that's probably not going to fit. So let's go back to our scene here real quick. And you really want to pay attention to your cropping. I'm going to move it up just a little bit more. Okay, then let's turn those text layers back on, make sure that we're not... Okay, let's move it down. Okay, we sort of have like a little sweet spot in here. I'll adjust the height of the hat so it's not a tangent right there. But that's sort of our sweet spot. And once we got that locked in, then we can come in here, rectangle. And clear. 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 And then let's fix this up here. There's a lot of sort of goofy crap going on. Let's fix all of it. You know, it's funny, like, when I when I do this when I'm not streaming, like, it's very fluid and not awkward, but you do this in front of an audience, and you just sort of get all goofy and shy and stage fright and all that crap that we have to do as artists now to help promote ourselves. I 
thought this was drawing assisted. It is. Why isn't it? That's as close as we're getting there. Okay. Now I can shorten this. Or I can make it longer. Let's try the short option. Looks a little too stumpy. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it up more. Okay, and that will, oopsie, that way we have nice negative spaces, we're avoiding tangents, the head is nicely framed by the caption boxes, and that's a pretty good finished pencil there, let's see John Barrows, I gave Olivia my old copy of How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way the other day, uh, wow, did she say thank you? Yo, but on Twitch is everything. Yeah, I for I I reinstalled everything. I tried OBS Studio, everything. For whatever reason, I cannot get I cannot get the the Facebook and whatnot to the the chat to to appear in the multi stream. I could do it before, just not doing it now. So anyway, if you're a expert in that, I'd love to hear your advice, but. Yeah, Twitch is the only place where I'm seeing your chats. So, okay, that that panel's roughed in. Let's see which one do we want to conquer next. Let's do this one where he's walking into the walking into the uh, the inn. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these back off. And I, I could go ahead and I could lock this and just make sure that I don't accidentally delete things. If you're if you're really sort of klutzy with your layers, uh, might not be a bad habit to get in, or a, uh, might be a good habit to get into. Because there's nothing worse than finding out that you accidentally deleted a layer that you weren't supposed to. It's sort of a crap feeling, especially when you think you're done. And then let's just do the whole hero walk in. pose gestures really important guys Until I've been drawing too much Harley. Got to get back into beefcake.
can't pull the life out. Now you know the drill difference between me and Rob. I'm used to drawing on an iPad and I can fix it really easy. He had to do it on paper. Jeez. Just some slight adjustments. Nice. Now, uh, Johnny is, uh, she's 16. Oh my gosh, dude, we're old AF, dude. I can't believe Olivia is 16. 16. So she must be taking college credit. Then is that, is that what's happening? And how is Godzilla? That's that puts a lot of stress on kids, bud. Just so you know, like Michaela did that, and it puts a lot of stress on them. Like they don't have a lot of time to just like be themselves and have fun. So <laughs> you didn't get to go see Godzilla then. Oh boy, that's what happens. Sleepy time. So you notice that I changed that perspective just a little bit on Reiner. Ah, flippity doo da day. I'm gonna need to flip this. Yep, 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 yep. Hold on. Gotta do it right. door opens the other way. It's okay though. So there's our new layout. Let's see. Sweet. Which means we'll be watching it in a state of enhanced learning. I'm looking forward to it, bud. Okay, so let's get this back down to where we were. You know what? As much as I love this, I don't know if I like the... 
know if I like the camera angle. I might make another attempt. I'm going to keep that right there. And let's see if we can do one from a low camera angle. Goes the novel writing journey. this better <sighs> which means I'm gonna kill this say bye bye to my little friend all that time we spent it's okay don't don't fall in love with anything don't fall in love with your drawings be objective if you think you can do it better do it better don't settle for like, mmm. And that's why you work out all these problems small, fast, and quick right here. Instead of spending a ton of time on it. I mean, look, you know, I drew that big, but it's it's only going to be this big on the screen, or on the page. So you can see how much my level of detail drops. Now, one of the things that happens when I do finishes... I changed my brush size so it's basically always right there and I don't ever make it smaller, I don't ever make it bigger. So when I come in to do finishes, that is my brush size. That's it, period. Because if I do this, then I'm drawing details that are so fine they never show up. Okay? So look at the difference in brush size, alright? So I keep it at that size. And that tells that basically is a good reminder of like you know what my actual page size is what my level of detail should be
he's going to be lit from the back. So like I said, I'm trying to create sort of like a strong silhouette. Still make him look heroic. I don't want it to be all like completely blacked out, but just some. Nice. Good. Cannot wait, my friend. Jeff Payne said that uh, computers are not a good drawing tool, they're a good racer tool, but <laughs> racing's half the battle, kiddos. And I like that a lot more, let's see. It's right there, so now we have Two pages where I bait I mean and I really when I do pencils this is about as detailed as I go I mean I might need to do a little bit more value mapping on this one but I usually do that later on okay so I'm gonna just play a little bit with this real quick I have my text layers turned back on Although I don't know where. There we, there we go. And then I'm just going to, now that I sort of have a better idea of where everything's going, I'm just going to bring that up just a little bit. And that should help make the composition even a little bit better. Okay, perfect. So I'm, contro I'm controlling where your eyes are going to go. And I'm digging it. Let's turn some of these layers back on. Okay, so now we have this one. I need to I need to do a little bit of uh, let's see what's on here real quick. Come in here, let's do stagecoach. Driver. I have, a, I have somewhat of an idea what these guys look like. Images. Uh, you know, I should do European. Let's try that again. Same search. These are all from the Old West. This guy's sort of more what I'm looking for. Let's see if there's like a Charles Dickens one. Images, why the heck tools? No, 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 no! <sighs> Stagecoach. Is it all, you know, let me see if I do one word if that doesn't. I hate, I hate doing this crap. And any more Google's like trying to sell you sh stuff. So maybe try this on like DuckDuckGo or something. Look at this dude. This is what I want. Pimp Master, stagecoach, driving, cigar smoking, whip smacking. But I usually try and get 
photo reference if I can. Even though that drawing is pretty dope. Cheese and crackers. Let's get specific. Yeah, I should do my 18th. Once again, it goes back to the Old West. Hmm. And he's from the Old West. Dag on it. I'm trying to think. Trying to think of like any movies that have. Oh, come on. Really? That's it? All right. We're going to go with this dude. Oh, yeah. Get him up there so you guys can see him. Get this back up here. Oh boy, not a lot of detail. But it does give us a little bit of an idea of... Now I'm gonna come in here, I've got like the next panel ready to go and I looked at like all the stuff I'm missing on this one. Never hurts to come in and just sort of Now that panel looks more done. All right, so let's group these together now. Make sure the opacities. Let's see. Well, first we're gonna unlock. Max. Max. Merge down. Lock again. Now this might seem a little anal, but trust me, it beats accidentally finding out that you deleted your layer. Or finding out you deleted your layer on accident, I should say. I'm, and this is why you name your stuff, too. Because for the love of Pete... I can't... Here we go. Let's just... I can't rename it if it's locked. That's a little... Rough. We're going to call it Rough Roughs. Lock, and then we'll unlock. Lock. Okay. Now let's see if we can get this. I have that right there, so I know what my gesture is going to be. Let's get a new layer. Oh, did I misspell it? Okay. No, I didn't. It's just the order of the words. Okay. Let's try. You know, I'm, I'm okay. But the, thanks for the tip, though. So just the order of the words might, might help. Okay. Thank you for the suggestion. I love this dude though. I mean, look at this hat. Look at the character in this drawing. And this is this is why sometimes illustrations are just 
superior they have character so Trying to get my perspective to go to sort of the same vanishing point. Those sideburns though, those are staying. I would imagine he'd have gloves on. I would have also imagined that this sort of had some type of Thing where it came up through the middle, but I'll have to do a little bit more stagecoach research. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, that's like a sexy Harley Draw. <laughs> I have been drawing girl comics way too long. Look at that calf. Mmm, oh yeah. No, Chad, no. You know, if they're talking, they should be looking at each other. That just means we get to see more of those sweet, sweet sideburns. Woohoo! 
Ooh, my eraser's way too big. Sorry about that. What the heck? That must be like a new feature. I wonder if that's like a new way to make a dual brush and procreate. See if I can't get some more realistic fold pinches and folds in here. And let's fix the cigar. That does look a little, little Wild West. But that's okay. We're going to live with it. Blocking in values helps make things recede. So I'm probably just going to go on this far leg and this far arm. I'm just going to keep those almost all 100% black in tone and then do just like a 50-50 light on everything that's up front and that should help give it depth and of course that's going to be in shadow too okay all right so we got him and let's see how much of that we're going to get just crop off a lot. Oof. Okay. Whoopsie. It's a good crop. I'll need to extend the hat so it's not so much of a tangent right now where it's touching. You always want things to overlap. Overlapping, good. Touching, bad. No docking. No docking in comics. pencils on see where that now look it creates a little bit of a tangent just where these are these two points are lining up so you want to make sure you come in and let's just raise that up right there where that straddles there we go there we go perfect perfect and let's check the text awesome I love it when a plan comes together. Like I said, I will have to do a little bit of research on this stagecoach before everything gets finalized, but for rough pencils and just sort of getting, you know, getting the perspective in, this, this does just fine. Looks like there's a little bit of iron work below these. Let's make them a little fancy. Okay, and then we just need our little 
But a little Reiner right here in the corner, waving bye-bye. Thank you, sir. A little tip of the hat. That should not be hard to do. Now, this one is a top-down. I wonder... Did I save that? Or, no, I deleted it. Dang on it. See, if I had to save that, I probably could have just swapped... Could have swapped that uh, that high angle that I had over here on, on panel 5. I could have put it over here, but... I killed it. it. I killed it, it. And it felt good. So now let's let's uh, let's get it back in there. Okay, let's unlock this. Max, max. Merge down. Lock again. Turn on. And if you guys are going like Chad, why'd you turn that off? I mean, can't you see what you're doing? I just like, like I said, I I, I like sort of having the open space to draw and then I size it down put it in and then and then I make it work together so it's son of a biscuit eating goat there we go little tip of the hat let's get the gesture in low angle standing on the ground manly stance not a Harley stance manly stance Tip of the hat. Then don't forget the shadow. That way it doesn't look like he's floating in the middle of the air. Now we can turn this back on and see where it goes. I don't know if I like that or not. Don't like it, you get to kills it. It starts over. You know, let's just get rid of this whip. That's sort of trapping me over there. Whoa. See what happens when you don't lock it? There we go. There we go. Much better fit. Much better dynamics. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I love it. You know how long we've been going now. Holy crap, we've almost been doing this for two hours already. Oh boy, guys. I don't know if, um... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we keep going? What say ye? Have I lost all of you? Everyone asleep? You know, I think I'm ready for nap time. It's, it's Friday night. Joy's got to be back. Joy went and saw Sister Act 2 at the local theater. It's time for snuggles. So, anyway, I'll zoom in on this part. And that's where we'll stop for tonight. Everybody, thank you so much for joining in. We started with zero watchers. We're up to eight viewers right now, live on Twitch TV. Thank you so much. Um, Allison, you're still here. Allison, I'm going to bed. Allison, I will see you tomorrow, kiddo. Tomorrow, uh, so yeah, let's plug one more time. Friendsgiving, if you're in town in American Fork, text me. I'll send you my address. Swing by. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have food, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna eat food and draw at Friendsgiving. So uh, I'll uh, 
I'll, I'll shove a turkey sandwich with uh, cranberry sauce down your throat. And uh, we also have birthday cake for Johnny. Um, so if you're friends with uh, Johnny Fuller, make sure you stop by and help celebrate his birthday. 5.30, festivities start at 5.30 p.m. MST. Um, so come have some, some good food. And then um, also, hey, if you enjoyed the stream, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Um, we got to we gotta sell issues of these books, folks. We got to sell issues. So, oh, and also, I should say that it, if you go to my link tree and you go to Chad Harden, I actually have a web store. I'm slowly adding stuff to it. But you can buy part one of Death Watch in Artist Elite Presents number three. I only have the New York City Comic Con exclusives right now. They're running $20. Uh, the recession's coming, folks. So if that's too much for you, I understand 100%. But go to the Artist Elite website. Make sure you click on um, Our Sleep Presents number three. You got the cover that Joe Rubenstein and I did together. Uh, colors by Chuck Michael Obach, written by Jared Gifford. Uh, you can grab that one, I think, for $3.25 or $3.75, one of those two. Because um, they have it for 25% off right now. So you can go grab that variant right now off artistelite.com. And, uh, hey, we'll see you next time. Now, listen... Um, I don't know when, uh, I, I usually shoot for Thursdays, but this Thursday was a little too crazy. So, um, why don't we, why don't we say Wednesday? Let's, uh, we'll, we'll come back on Wednesday next week. Um, and we'll do this before we, uh, jump on the podcast with Jared, uh, Jared's goth nerd revelations podcast. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be on that with him, uh, just going down nerd rabbit holes. So if you, if you want to hear two old nerd, bald nerds talk about nerdy, nerdy crap from a very old, grumpy person's point of view, do I have the podcast for you, okay? So anyway, that's all I have to plug. Um, follow me on my socials. I, I will make sure that I switch over to the, the, uh, the ending screen so you can jump on my socials, uh, see where to follow me there. But thank you for joining me. Everyone have a good evening, good night. And uh, stay safe, and happy Thanksgiving. All right. Bye-bye. Still pretzel music going, dancing in the background.